Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you about a new microphone I got. Welcome back and thanks for being here. My name is Scott and if you tuned in a couple of weeks ago then you saw my new in-car camera setup. It's a GoPro Hero 9 Black. Feel free to go check that out up here if you're interested. And at the time I had tested three different microphone setups. One, the one that I favor is the lapel mic plugged into the back of a media mod. The lapel mic would rest right up here in my visor and it worked really well. It was actually my favorite setup as far as giving good dynamic range and everything. The next setup I tested was a Video Mic Go by Rode and I had that mounted up here with a suction cup and that did a pretty good job of insulating some noise, particularly road noise on a rough road. I don't remember what else it did. I think it might have been a little narrower in sound. It didn't give the bass response that the lapel mic did. And then the last microphone that I had shared with you, or configuration I should say, was the built-in microphone on the media mod, which is a GoPro accessory that snaps around the GoPro. And that microphone is, is arm's length away from me. And so it doesn't give quite, it, it, it does good voice clarity if it's up close, like say if I was wearing it and then it's right next to my mouth, it probably would sound really good. But at arm's length away in a car in a noisy environment, I think it was the one that gave the most distant sound. I like the lapel mic, but later in that video, it illustrated that if I didn't have that thing pinched in the visor just right, that it could expose some vibration sound and I, I did have some of that just briefly the microphone I'm going to share with you right now is another Rode mic this one is called a video micro compact and I guess that's for when you still want a microphone mounted on top of the camera but you want it to be a little smaller than the other ones I, I didn't bring it with me I'll flash a picture of the larger microphone. It stands out more where this one here is a little easier to conceal. It comes with, instead of a dead cat, I will call this a dead rat. I don't know what people call this, but this is for when you're outside in the wind and everything like that. And I don't need that here in the car. I just have the microphone mounted. My choice was to just, I tried a couple of different things. Um, but the one, that, the, the one thing that worked out the best was just putting it here on my sunglass lid with a magnet and that puts the microphone barely 10 inches from my mouth it is only maybe two inches farther away from my mouth than the lapel mic when I had it up here but because this one is directional I think it picks up my voice a little better and maybe does a little better job of rejecting noise something that I have noticed is like the lapel mic it has a better bass response, which is both good and bad. It's good in that it, it provides a more natural sound, but it's bad in that it picks up these low sub audibles that you probably can't hear right now unless you're listening on headphones. So on a, on a rough road, that leads to these little thuds that you can't, again, you can't really hear them unless you have on headphones, but if I, when I hit expansion joints and things like that, you'll hear this really, really low thud. But it also sounds pretty good with the exhaust. Let me go ahead and get on the road here and I'll, I'll give you a quick demonstration, but check out the way the engine sounds as I pull away. I mean, that's on, on, with the bass accentuation on this thing, it actually sounds better here on the microphone than it does in person. So let me go ahead and get up the speed here and then I will let you check out the way the microphone sounds. Now I'm on the same rough road, rough textured road that I was on last time I shared sound samples with you. So this should be a, an apples to apples comparison. So here I am at 46 miles an hour, fourth gear. I've got a little bit of a rat on the trunk. I, I've got some tools back there and I, I didn't get them all out. So try to ignore that that's going to be an inconsistency between the recordings but 
that's not the microphone's fault. So you've been hearing my voice on a rough road. Here is just the sound of the car and road noise alone. Not too much jingling out of the trunk. So for a direct comparison, let me share with you the other sound samples. Here is the lapel mic compared directly to this one. So you hear a nice back-to-back. -back. Here we go, lapel. Right now, the lapel mic is plugged in. And as I mentioned earlier, it is tucked up here in the visor. So you've already been hearing a sample of my voice on the rough textured road. Here is the sound of the road noise by itself. Now let me give you the video mic go, which was mounted up here in the corner of the windshield. A little less bass response, but still overall a decent sound. Here is a sample of the shotgun mic. I have it mounted to the windshield up here in the corner and it is while it is farther from my face my mouth than the lapel mic it is a directional mic that's pointed straight at me so here is the sound of my voice now here is the road noise by itself and now i will give you the built-in microphone from the media go probably the most distant sound because it's the farthest from my face here we go with the media mod microphone and finally here is the sound of the external microphone of the media mod so technically it is an external microphone not internal but it is the farthest from my face. It is right at arm's length and closer to the windshield and not directional. And so I believe it might not be picking up any more road noise, but it is probably picking up less of my voice since the microphone is farther from me. You've been hearing my voice. Now here is the sound of the road noise all by itself. And that's it. I just wanted to give you a quick sample of the different microphones. If you record in your car and are looking for a good option, consider this micro compact by Rode. It's, I like it. It's just small enough to, it's large enough to have a good directional setup on it, but it's small enough to, to hide it out of the way. And if I, if I zoom out, you can see it's all just right here. I'll have to get a picture of it up here to share with you and I think it's a nice setup and the sub audible I don't want to say sub audible because you can hear it but the low tones that it's picking up from the road I think I can filter those out pretty well without having to filter out as much as I did with the other microphones during my extended road trip I had to take out so much noise on that that it made my voice sound tinny and I don't think that's going to be necessary with this microphone. A quick cut in from Future Scott. I have gone and done the unthinkable. The magnetic mount that I had set up, it worked well if I was driving in a straight line, but what I discovered is if I turned any corners or anything like that, the uh, the microphone would swivel a little bit. And so I decided to try a rubber foot underneath it to maybe give it a little bit of traction but then that just reduced the the grip or excuse me the magnetic pull of the magnet and it just didn't really work out so I have actually punched some holes some holes I'll tell you that in a second I punched a hole so that I can mount this thing through the sunglass holder and tighten it down with a quarter 20 screw and it is not going anywhere check this out it's it's solid and I think it, um, it it shows some commitment there's no doubt about that but I've also decided to punch a second hole so that I could mount my wireless transceiver 
Now what I don't know is how much it's going to be captured in the camera if because now the microphone sits about a half inch lower than it did before and so I might have to move my camera we'll see but worst case is I just have to shoot the video from over here so I can mount the camera in this location and, and I would only do that if for some reason I can't cut the microphone out of the picture here the camera's a little awkward over here but I can work with it and I kind of don't like it right there because it's a little bit in my field of sight if I'm turning, making a turn, a left-hand turn or something. But I think I might be able to cut off the microphone a little bit better here. I don't know. I'll find out when I edit this video. Now I can say without a doubt, now that I've listened to this video and done some editing, this new microphone is the best out of all of the ones that I've tested. If you couldn't hear the difference between them, try listening again with headphones and then you'll hear this this is a very clear microphone i like it a lot let me know if you have any questions i'll be glad to answer as always i appreciate you being here and i will see you next time take care